Callaway Peak. Just going to take a little bit of video of the trail just so you can get a feel for what it looks like climbing the, up to the uh, Grandfather Crest Trail. I'm on the Daniel Boone Scout Trail section right now on the way up to Callaway Peak. Camping at Cliffside tonight. Just a quick overnighter. Pretty woods though. Nice little climb. Do a couple thousand feet here um, between the parking lot to the top. Not a whole lot of distance, about four miles maybe. A couple thousand feet. It's a good climb. So, view from Grandfather Mountain, uh, not from the top, I'm on the way up to Callaway Peak. I just came out to look at the, uh, that's the viaduct, uh, the Linko viaduct is I think what they call it. You see it off in the distance. Yeah, but this is just a quintessential Blue Ridge Mountains view, just nothing but Endless seas of green and blue, as far as you can see. It's just beautiful. Pretty rock down here in the distance here. This is a plane wreck up here on on the way of uh, to Callaway Peak in the Grandfather uh, Mountain Crest Trail here. But uh, somebody was just telling me that this is from like the 1965, 66. So it's been up here for a while. I see some other pieces of it over there. Surprising, it's not rusted at all. Anyways, pretty cool. Sunday morning, I stayed at uh, the Callaway Gap campsite. There's my hammock set up in there. Hammock gear, Cuban fiber tarp, and I've got a butt and a sling uh, 
hammock in here, or whoopee slings. This is some of Dutch's uh, Kelvar tree straps. They're pretty awesome. They don't stretch at all. Yep, there's my inside of my hammock. <clears throat> Let's walk around the rest of Callaway Gap campsite so you can get a good feel for what it looks like. <clears throat> I stayed here one other time. I did the Grandfather Mountain Trail <clears throat> and this it's got three actually I think it's got maybe four platforms. Yeah there's one back behind my hammock. Here's a platform. It's a bigger campsite at least by the uh, Grandfather Mountain campsites that you can stay in. There's a guy and his daughter that were staying back here in this back campsite. It's pretty nice. It's pretty secluded back here. Yeah, they were staying back here. I didn't even hear them. They were really quiet. Having the platforms if you were camping in a tent makes a huge difference because there's really no flat ground back here. So at least having these platforms for tent campers gives you something flat to stay on. At least if you have a freestanding tent, I don't know what you do if you have a tarp tent or something. These things wouldn't work very good. All right, time to start packing up and head on out. instead of the Cragway, just so you can see what this tra uh, trail looks like. I hit a cool section, it's kind of downhill through this rhododendron forest, I just figured that video would 